we've got some big cruise news. We're perplexed, we're flabbergasted, we're outraged. It's preposterous. This is what one CEO of one of the biggest cruise lines in the world has said today. We have this and more. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. We're Cruise with Ben and David. I'm Ben. I've came dressed as a spring chicken today. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It really helps us. Before we go into that headline news, first up from Royal Caribbean, they're continuing to vaccinate their crew at the Port of Miami. Already six ships have already been vaccinated with their crew and there's more on the way. Crew members from Explorer, Liberty, Navigator, Freedom, Independence and Mariner of the Seas have all received their first doses of the COVID-19 vaccination. Michael Bailey, CEO of Royal Caribbean said, it's going to be extremely important our crew are vaccinated. He was also very happy that the World Health Organization has approved the Sinopharm vaccine all the way from China as it's much more easily available to get. Miami is just one of three cruise ports in the USA now welcoming cruise ships in so that crew members can get vaccinated. And it's not just crew members who come from the USA who are being vaccinated, but international crew as well. Crew have been approved for the vaccine for the purpose of providing goods or services for the benefit of residents and visitors of Florida. Mucho gusto en conocerte. Oh, sorry, I'm just on my lunch break. By the way, this video is sponsored by Babbel, the number one learning language app in the whole world. I try to spend 10 to 15 minutes of my lunch break every day to learn to speak Spanish. And it comes in so handy, especially when we're cruising and traveling. And I really want to be able to communicate in another language. It's so satisfying and it just shows some general respect. Now, anybody who knows me knows that this is going to be really hard for me because I have really struggled learning new languages in the past. I can't even pronounce English things, but Babbel has seriously made it so much easier. It doesn't use machine learning or AI technology like some other apps, and the courses are actually handcrafted by over 150 language experts. It's a science-backed approach. That means you learn the things that are worthwhile to know. Learning a language is just as much about learning the culture, and Babbel's local experts infuse all of the courses and experiences with local insights. And because we're working with Babbel, if you click the link in the description section below, Babbel will give you an extra six months completely free when you sign up for a six month subscription. So you too could start speaking a brand new language in three weeks with Babbel. Adios. Royal Caribbean have also confirmed letters of employment are being sent out. As well as from May the 21st, crew from India will also start being offered employment. But there's rigorous amounts of testing and quarantining before they can join a ship, including, first of all, a PCR COVID test, then a 14-day quarantine in India, then another PCR test, then they'll be flown on charter flights to the ship, then another PCR test, then they will be given a COVID-19 vaccine, then quarantine again, then finally a fourth PCR test. They are really not taking any chances here and we don't blame them, but it's great to see cruise lines like Royal Caribbean acting so responsible. In other Royal Caribbean news, new renderings have been released of the brand new terminal in Galveston, Texas. It will be capable of holding the world's biggest cruise ship class, the Oasis class ship from Royal Caribbean. The Terminal 3 Cruise Terminal is currently under construction and will feature some amazing state-of-the-art technology, including mobile check-in and facial recognition to make the boarding procedure as quick and easy for passengers. It will only be used by Royal Caribbean. The terminal cost a whopping $100 million, but by the look of it, it looks lovely and shiny with the big Royal Caribbean logo. It looks worth every single penny. The new terminal is due to welcome Allure of the Seas, one of the biggest ships in the world, all the way in November 2022. Once we get more information about it, we'll let you know. And in some personal news, it's just over one week until we cruise on the amazing MSC Virtuosa. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. We're gonna bring you a ship tour, 
cabin tour, loads of vlogs and information about what cruising is like right now. We're going to be on the first ever cruise. Next up to that headline news, Norwegian threatens to move more cruises to the Caribbean. This is due to those new CDC guidelines that we talked about last week. They've called them outrageous. But there's also the problem of Florida because Governor Ron DeSantis recently signed a bill that bans businesses, schools and governments in Florida from asking anyone to have to provide proof of a COVID-19 vaccination. Well, this is a big problem for cruises because it could block them from returning. The CDC clearly want cruises to run vaccinated cruises, but how can this happen if Florida are saying no? Well, we'll just have to see what happens. CEO of Norwegian Frank Del Rio said, at the end of the day, cruise ships have motors, propellers and rudders. And God forbid we can't operate in the state of Florida for whatever reason, we can operate from the Caribbean for ships that otherwise would have gone to Florida. Harsh words. He was said to be outraged and perplexed, saying the new rules set out by the CDC are preposterous. If you want to learn about those new rules, check out our videos that we've just released in the last few days. He was very concerned about some of the points mostly the ones about wearing masks. He said, even though everyone on board would be vaccinated, in between bites of your meal and in between sips of your drink, you will have to put your mask back on. Nobody should order soup because your mask might get sloppy. So to me, that is just preposterous. And we really couldn't agree more. It's ridiculous. They are expecting you to finish one course and then put your mask back on. I mean, everybody on board is vaccinated. It makes no sense. And this is really bad news because he went as far as saying that they may pull out of the USA for good because of this. He said sailing in the Caribbean might prove so profitable that they will never return back to US waters. Scary news, eh? In other Norwegian news, they have donated $10 million to Alaskan port communities. The money has been given to six different Alaska port communities who were severely impacted by the ongoing cruise suspension. The cancellation of the 2020 and 2021 seasons has cost their economy a huge amount of money. It will result in a devastating $3.3 billion impact, including $2.2 billion of lost revenues for local businesses. Over 22,000 people in Alaska are out of work due to the cruise ban, which is just awful. Norwegian said there were no strings attached, no quid pro quo or anything to the money that they were giving and that they're not going to have any involvement at all with the distribution of the money within communities. It's really good. It's well done to Norwegian. It's such a lovely thing to do. The governor of Alaska thanked Norwegian for the donation. And finally, Princess Cruises have released brand new plans for a new dining concept. It's called Dine My way. It's all part of their medallion class technology. Take a look at our video if you don't know what we're talking about. It's basically the wearable technology that you wear on board and an app. You can do some amazing things with it. Well, this new Dine My Way will allow guests to make reservations for all dining on board, including main dining rooms, specialty dining, room service, and even just randomly ordering food around the ship. This is all going to be done using the updated medallion class app. You can pick when, where and who you would like to eat with. And you can even request specific tables, which we think is great, like next to a portal window or next to the exit. And you can even pick to have the same table with the same servers every single night. It's basically really flexible. And you can even select the pace you want to be served. Would you like a relaxed pace or would you like your food flung at you really quickly? You can share dietary preferences and allergen information and much more. But you can still choose the old way of dining, the traditional set dining if you want to. And changes and cancellations and bookings can be made right up to the last minute. You can even check the app for food straight away to see where's available. We 
think it sounds so good but we'd love to know what you think do you prefer the more traditional way of dining or do you like the idea of this new my dine way from um, princess we think it's a great idea thank you so much for watching this cruise news update please hit that subscribe button and we would really appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up it really helps us and thank you so much to all of our wonderful patrons we give you things like extra episodes exclusive content a zoom call with us every single month and postcards whilst we are away our captain of the week is Kristen so ahoy there Kristen that's it till next time happy cruising Love.